Hey guys, welcome to another video on Brand Advice where we talk about business and finance. My name is Parath and to start off this video, I want to show you this little clip from Jeff Bezos from a previous interview that he had when Amazon was just starting out. Come on. <laughs> what? I mean, you, you, you can no. afford a better desk than that. It's a symbol yeah. of spending money on things that matter to customers and not spending money on things that don't. I actually find this video clip very interesting because if you look at his table, like clearly the interviewer is like, <laughs> you know, you can definitely afford something better. But he was like, I want it to be a symbol to show people that we want to spend money on things which actually matter to the customers and not on useless things. And this is actually very true because I was talking to a few of the followers on Brand Device and the first thing that like comes to the mind of most of the people when they're starting out their own business is like, you know, we don't have this, we don't have that and all sorts of things. But what you have to remember is like, you don't need a million different things to start a business. Like many times you can start with like very less resources and what you have to do as an entrepreneur, the main task that you have is to be resourceful. That means you have to see how you can arrange the things that would be like otherwise costing like, you know, so much more money for just lesser things. Or how exactly you can use things which are not like that expensive and still like, you know, kick off your business. Now, the thing about like online businesses and most of the online businesses is that you need zero euros to start up, like absolutely zero. All you need is many times your phone camera or something. You need a website which can be like built like completely for free on many of the websites. For example, if you're starting out, you can use wordpress.com or something as your website. And then once you start generating some kind of income, you can start generating some kind of sales. Then you can like invest back into the business. And that makes the most sense to me. The idea that you need to have a fancy office space, you need to have a fancy laptop, you need to have a fancy camera in order to like start everything. This is a bad idea. I can tell you from my experience when I was starting out Bharat in Germany, the very first video that I made was on Alina's um, iPhone because like that was the best phone that we had in the uh, family and we were like okay like you know let's use it we used the back camera and we recorded the first video the second video i recorded was from my asos zenfone max like it was having the biggest battery or something and that's why i bought that phone it was 170 euros but i bought it like previously already and i was like using the selfie camera of that and I recorded the second video. Then afterwards, I was like, you know, this could get somewhere because I was getting good response. And then I was like, okay, now it makes sense that I invest in something which is going to matter to the end customers. And in this case, the end customer is going to be the viewer who is watching the YouTube video. And I think it's not bad if you're like investing something in your business directly when you're thinking that it is going to like, you know, make you some money. But this should not be the first thing that comes to your mind. The first thing that comes to your mind is how exactly am I able to solve a particular problem? For Bharat in Germany, it was very clear. Germany was known to be an education hub for many people, but nobody was talking about it. So what I did was I started making content around Germany and education, and it quickly became the largest channel on like studying, working or freelancing in Germany. And that was very interesting. Then afterwards, the same problem I saw with the investment and business side of the things. And I'm like, nobody's talking about these things in Germany. Like, you know, how do you invest your money when you're coming in as an expat? Or how do you actually take care of your finances and things like that? Then I was like, this could be something interesting for brand device. And again, I see like we are getting good response. The community is like super engaging. So we are producing content further there. So online businesses, I really think is at least like one of the things you can really start with like absolutely zero capital. And you can be frugal in the starting. I really believe in frugality and frugality is not money pinching and like, you know, you're kind of like turning every single coin twice or something, but it is more about using whatever kind of resources you have in the best possible way and avoiding unnecessary spending. Because if the first thing that comes to your mind is like, you know, as soon as you make a lot of sales is to like buy a fancy car or something or like just buy a fancy house but then all of your investments or something dry up or your cash flow dries up because you never thought about investing back into the business then you will have a problem so that's why i think all of these things could be thought about for the later but when you're starting out just think that you can also do the things which you are thinking of doing for 1000 euros maybe for 10 euros maybe for 5 euros whatsoever try these things out adopt this mentality and that is really going to help you out Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any kind of questions whatsoever, suggestions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.